Hello world, it's Almond Milk again, and I have returned with another challenge video for this Pico Gym workout series. In this video, we're going to be solving Get Ahead from the Web Exploitation category worth 20 points. Let's get into it. Find the flag being held on this server to get ahead of the competition. Okay, and so they give us a link to a website. We're going to be performing some sort of exploit or looking at something to essentially get the flag from the website itself. So judging based off of the title up here, it says get ahead. Get and ahead are two types of HTTP headers. And HTTP headers are basically additional information that can be passed between the client and the server through a HTTP request, which is just a basic web request, right? And it looks something like you have uh, the name followed by a colon, and then after that is the value. It can even set up different settings that are read by your website to configure the website itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the website they gave us. Choose red, choose blue. So now Firefox actually has a nifty tool where we can actually just go look at the network. So we'll go ahead and choose blues. And as you can see, it gave us a post request back, right? And post is another eight type of HTTP header. And I don't see anything here. So let's click red. Is it the same output? Yes. As, as you can see, like I said, you have the name, right? And then you have the value, which controls whatever setting is read in by the website itself. So what we can do is, I think the challenge is telling us to get ahead. So maybe we need to either do a get request or a head request on the website, which we can do very easily. This is already a get request though. Wait, does that mean, oh, blue. Okay, so the blue is a post request. The red is a get request, all right? So we'll let's take a look at the get request since that's what the challenge has titled here. And then let's let's actually try changing that to a head request, which we can do very easily. We can go over to this little resend drop down here and we can do edit and resend. And we can change our HTTP method to head. Okay. And then we can send that. And then if we click our head, you know, entry here, we should oh Hey, check it out. There's the flag. And then you can also view the cookies, request, response, timing, stack trace, all that stuff as well. But it looks like all we needed to do is send a head request to the website's backend, and it gave us a flag inside of the response headers. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Teaches you the basics of HTTP headers, which I'm sure there'll be more challenges covering this. Another tool that's used often to modify headers to kind of view the response data more efficiently is called burp suite. And we'll probably use that tool later on, but because the challenge was so basic, right? Cause it's only a 20 point challenge. We really didn't need to use that tool. We could just use Mozilla's dev tools essentially. So let's go ahead and put that in. And we got 20 points and that's it for this challenge. So if you, enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel so that I can keep making these. I mean, I'm going to make them anyways, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.